Upton in Glasgow, University Avenue, going up the hill. It's just one of the happiest memories I've got. My name is Robin McKee. I studied maths first and then psychology at Glasgow University. And I am currently science and environment editor of The Observer. I loved science. I was going to be a scientist. Came to Glasgow and first astronomy lecture by the great Professor Archie Roy was on spherical trigonometry. It wasn't what I thought was exciting science. I started taking photographs. Um, the next year, Andrew Neil was editor of the Glasgow University. It was a great guardian that he edited. And I thought maybe I could take photographs for that. Went to his successor, Margaret Cameron, offered to take photographs. She said, can you write? I said, I have no idea. Many people still question that as well. And when she stood down, she said that I should be her replacement. I became her replacement. Became editor of the Glasgow University Guardian. And, uh, you know, my love of journalism was completely nurtured and flowered at that time. It has been the only life I've known. Um, the only love, of, you know, the only professional love that I have. It's been a great profession and I owe a huge chunk of that to the Glasgow University. It was, it was quite a shock when Jimmy Reid was elected rector. Up till then, the rector of the university used to be sort of a rather great and good figure, maybe slightly liberal. I mean, this is a communist, this is a hard left, you know, well, shipyard worker. Um, so that was quite a shock. He was immensely approachable, very, a very articulate person. Um, I, I went to his his home. He, he had a flat in a council flat, and I, he was going to write a little kind of introduction for the students' handbook for me. He sat down and wrote 200 perfect words in front of me while I drank a cup of tea. He was quite an astonishing character. At the time, I had to, to stay on an extra year to become editor of the Guardian University Guardian. I had to change course uh, from hard science to, to soft science, as it were, psychology. And that's terribly easy to do at Glasgow. Science is rigorous. You have to find compelling evidence to make an assertion and you have to put it under test. And I think that's as good a sort of background for a journalist as you can get. Can you substantiate what you are saying? I was a sort of early uh, graduate uh, entry into the media world. It really took off maybe that was just good luck on my part. It took off maybe five or ten years after I graduated. Um, I would say that the, the lessons you learn, that, that I learned producing The Guardian, uh, were immensely important to me. Um, I remember we printed on the Greenock Telegraph's presses and we'd go down on press day and the, the, the subs there uh, were immensely helpful and pointed out errors of, you know, don't use that typeface, your intro's far too long, all that sort of thing. So I would, that involvement, early involvement in newspapers was of great help to me. So my advice to any student now is get involved with student publications, online, print, whatever it is, television. Just get involved in it. It's great fun. The feeling you got was you walk into the rector and everybody's got the newspaper that you've worked really hard on and they're sitting reading it. And generally taking it seriously. It was a, suddenly a great feeling of you were influencing uh, the way people were looking at the campus. Uh, that was that was the biggest buzz I ever got at university. That was it. The eight editions uh, that I produced were, you know, that that was the buzz. That was really really good. And that is what you know, journalism is about. Journalism is about of making people sit up and go, oh hey. And if you're doing that, uh, you are doing society a service and that's the feedback you get from it, this, their rapt attention. Last time I was at university was uh, interviewing people in the geology department they were getting micrograms of asteroid rock. That was two years ago. I miss Glasgow badly. It's the best city in the, in, in, in the world as far as I'm concerned. There's a vivid memory of me walking up University Avenue. Um, and I, it must be on several different years I'm walking up the hill, somehow there's Pink Floyd in my head as it's going, don't ask me why. I think Echoes had just come out then. Um, and I'm up, I'm feeling great. This is just a wonderful experience. This time, I'm really gonna work. This time it's gonna be great. And that kind of evaporates and going up the hill in April, I'm thinking, oh, why didn't I work hard? Why have I left everything at the last moment? Um, so autumn in Glasgow, University Avenue, going up the hill. It's just one of the happiest memories I've got. And I think the university, just 
you know, it's a crown jewel as far as I'm concerned. Um, um, and I'm very proud to be at the same university as Doctor Who.